up, Walmart fam? We're at the hospital. Candace said, are you serious? Look, y'all. Candace got the ring for us. Yeah, at Highview Six Card Center. Uh huh. The gym teacher was fucking stupid. She fell at school and she went up to the gym teacher almost in tears, saying her ankle hurt. And he said, "Go sit down, you'll be fine." I get home and her ankle is swelled like bigger than a baseball. Nuts. And now we're at the hospital because of a dumbass gym teacher who, if he would have sent her to the nurse could have possibly stopped it from swelling, but we'll see once the x-rays get here. Sorry, I'm not being loud as I normally am. We're in the hospital. Can't be loud. So yeah, just wanted to let you guys know that you've never seen me in any different settings like this, so yeah. She had a shitty day at school, I had a shitty day at work, so it's not good. Move my foot up on the like, no. It hurts to move it at all. She's medicated, so hopefully her ankle quits hurting. Just 400 milligram Motrin. That's it. That's it. She didn't get any other like stuff. Well, you just took it, dude. I'll be back, guys. What up, Walmart gang? Uh, fam. <laughs> Got a little tongue tied right there, you know, you know. <coughs> so I'm on my first break at work the day after Candace's broken ankle but you know that's what happens when you go to a high view learning center um the gym teacher i guess is new and they got to deal with him the rest of the year so yeah because of him my daughter walked around in god awful pain all day i told her to go to the nurse but you know she's a super shy girl and when your gym teacher, who saw you fall and get hurt, tells you, you're fine, go sit down. It'll stop. Um, then you kind of get discouraged to ask anybody else to go to the nurse. So, yeah. Uh, I kept her home today, and I put in her absent, and in the little notes, I left a little message. Yeah. Um, that shit ain't gonna fly with me. Uh, the school is supposed to be be there to teach my daughter, but also look out for her if she gets hurt. If she comes to you almost in tears and tells you she hurt her ankle really bad, send her to the fucking nurse, stupid. But yeah, so that's, they're not going to hear the end of it for me, that's for sure. Um, especially if she needs surgery on her ankle, which is quite possible. Um, so yeah. That's part of why I didn't vlog at all yesterday. I was dealing with that. She's got a, a half cast on right now. She's hating it. She's got to be on crutches. She can't put any pressure on that foot. It's nuts. Um, so, yeah. She's uh, home today, chilling, making sure she rests. Uh, yeah. And I'm at work. Hopefully today's better than yesterday. Sorry if the lighting sucks, you know, you know. Uh, I'm like, ooh. <gasps> Ta-da! Like I got a little triangle on my V's. Oh, it's a YouTube logo! <laughs> Ain't that some shit? Yeah. It's like, okay, um... So I'm off tomorrow. That should be fun. I gotta do some laundry. I started getting Anthony's room together. So yeah, that's coming along. Yeah, pretty much. That's that's what's going on. And my neighbor that moved in behind me. I guess there's an old guy that lives there. And uh, I guess my neighbor across the street informed me that the cops were called because he tried to get into an apartment across the street. And then she informs me that he was just chilling in front of my front door. He grabbed one of my lawn chairs and just popped a squat in my front door um, while I was at work. And then he's sitting in the side of my house at the table leaving his coffee cups and shit. So yeah, that's fun. Those went in the garbage. I didn't bother giving them back. 
Um, and then, my daughter calls me about a couple hours ago and says, Mom, somebody's trying to get in the house. So, I'm just assuming it was him. That shit ain't gonna fly. Um, yeah, what would y'all do about it? Would you inform your landlord? Or would you just go talk to the neighbor? Because they're, like, really old. And I know the guy... I work with the guy whose boyfriend's grandma is uh, the one that lives behind me. So I might talk to him and just let him know, like, hey, can you let grandpa know to stop trying to get in my house and stop, you know, using my lawn furniture and doing whatever the hell he wants with my stuff? Because that's not going to fly. I'm not going to, you know, I just, I can't catch a break when it comes to neighbors. I'd rather have my pot smoking, you know, neighbors back. That was better than the loudest neighbors I had after him, them. And now I got a neighbor that tries to get in my house and scares the shit out of my daughter while she's laid up on the couch with a broken ankle uh, due to High View Learning Center, 6th grade High View Learning Center. <laughs> I'm just going to keep saying it, you know. And uh, somebody's trying to get in the house and she's home alone. So, uh, yeah, that's lovely. <sighs> Life, I swear. It's just one big stress ball, and I love it. Oh! Okay, I gotta go back in, y'all, but I will be posting today this vlog that you will be watching later. Hope y'all liked my, uh, my speech I give. Yeah, yeah, you loved it. I know you did. I know you did. Um... Also, I put a poll in, like, two or three of my blogs. All you gotta do is click on it, and Candace is calling me. I'll be right back. Sorry, y'all. I had to go. Candace called me, bawling her eyes out, saying she was really scared, because three times, dude, or whoever it was, tried to get in my house. Yeah, so, uh... That's lovely, you know, scared the shit out of my daughter, now she don't feel safe at home. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's whatever, though. Um, yeah, I'm on my lunch break. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Can I go back? Oh shit, me. Candace has an up. Dude, stop moving. Candace has an appointment with an orthopedic surgeon tomorrow morning. So, everybody pray that she does not need surgery. You know, I kind of wonder if maybe she didn't fall. She got pushed or kicked. Because it's just weird to me the way the doctor explained the the break the fracture hello it just it don't seem whoa whoa mandy lay off lay off of the stress it's getting you way too wasted haha <laughs> anyway um uh, kind of seems like she was kicked because it's not really consistent with Falling the way she said she did? I don't know. I guess she could. I don't know. Uh, we've had issue with bullying at this school. Real bad. So, uh, I don't know. I'm, I wonder if she's not telling. <gasps> you know what? We'd be having technical difficulties like all the time. Why? Why? This is the camera. No, Mandy, there you go. I'm just, I'm just trying to make coffee, damn it, man. There. Why didn't I do that in the first place? Anyway. Yeah, I'm just wondering if maybe she's not telling me the full story. I hope and pray she's, she did just fall, though, because... Let mommy find out. Yeah. Let me find out. Kids these days just does this wanna pick at fucking anybody, man. 
You're not part of the in crowd. You know, I got bullied by one girl my whole time in school. Bully. She never physically messed with me. Because she knew better. But, she was always saying stuff and threatening stuff. And then, I got an in-school suspension because she threatened to bring a gun to school and kill me. So, I got an in-school suspension. They said, so it wouldn't cause any issues with the parents. And it wouldn't be fair if I didn't get in trouble along with them. Like, I'm the one being bullied, motherfucker. How are you going to get me an in-school suspension? Like, what about? Didn't even call my mom. Their parents were there, but not mine. My mom didn't know nothing about it until I got off school and came home. Like, hey, I had an in-school suspension because some bitch threatened to kill me. So, yeah, pretty much. But after that little incident, girl left. Never seen or heard from her again. Then we moved to Middletown, and bam, there she is. And she, she hated me for I don't know what. I don't, really don't know, for real. i never done anything to this chick. Never. So, uh, I'm a nice person, man. I'm a nice person. This vlog ain't been too, uh, because of all the bullshit going on with, uh, Candace's ankle. I feel so bad for her, like, She's just so emotional. I've never seen her cry so much. Poor thing. She's just so... Hi. How you doing? I need no cream. Psych. <laughs> Woo! Woo! So, yeah, that's the vlog for the day, guys. That's the vlog. I'm going to go ahead and post this just because I didn't post yesterday. And I know my last two vlogs, one I posted at 6 in the morning and then the next one I posted at 11 p.m. I need to be posting at like normal hours, you know, when when people, adults, are uh, awake. Oh my god, my leg hurts. Yeah, I was by myself, like completely by myself all day yesterday. And it was just one thing after another. Oh my god, I'll get there. My TC70 that we're supposed to be using now don't work. So I gotta hunt down another one that I can use. And, uh... Sorry, I thought I'd seen somebody. And, uh, <laughs> I'm like paranoid as fuck. Um, then I finally find one, and then my printer won't print, so I can't put out any meat until I can get it to print. Yeah. Fucking sucks. Then I finally got it, but then it took me all day to do my meat wall. Do to my printer not printing. Yes. I don't know. I guess it wasn't a bad day. It was. It just felt like I didn't get nothing accomplished. You know what I mean? Because I worked on the the meat wall, and I get that shit done by ten o'clock. Like today, I was done by ten o'clock. No, I lied. Eleven. And uh, so then I can go back to work and work on things that I didn't get to do yesterday. So, yeah, I'm just like, I don't, I feel like it's a bad day when I'm not, when I don't feel like I've been very productive. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. It's like, I'm joking. No, I'm not. <clears throat> Have you guys ever watched that show, Married at First Sight? Ooh, ooh, I watched it. It's okay. It's weird, you know, because they don't meet the person until the day they get married. Which is, like, exciting but scary at the same time. Like, I totally want to do that, but I don't think I can. You know what I mean? Uh, do you know what I mean? So, yeah. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean scary sterling. No, foul. Stay there, foul, foul. So, yeah. Uh, what was I talking about? <laughs> Anthony was pretty good yesterday. Like, he, he didn't get me 
to where I wanted to bash him into a wall. <laughs> you mummies know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about anyway. Uh, okay, I'm going to have to edit three, four videos together to make this vlog. So I got to go because it's going to take a while. Because once I get back to work, the Wi-Fi sucks. So it's going to take like all my battery and shit. You know what I mean? So, uh, sorry if this is a bit long. Psych, I'm not sorry. Ha <laughs> Anyway, love you guys. Oh, yeah. I got goes, mother truckers. I got goes. I'm going to start trying to make... You can't see that. I'm shaking. All right, many more vlogs. I need 965 more subscribers to be at 1,000. Um, my goal is to get 10 likes on a video. I got one video, the Walmart fight one. It's got 7 likes. So I'm getting there, I'm getting there. Then my goal will go up. And I want to start making two vlogs a day. That way I'm ahead of the game. You know what I mean, Jelly Bean? Uh, would y'all like two vlogs a day or do you like just one? Doesn't matter. But if you want two vlogs a day, I'll have to start doing four vlogs a day because I want to try to stay ahead. Like, if I do two vlogs a day, oh, if I do two vlogs a day, I'll do post one, one day, and then the next day I'll do another vlog. You see what I mean? Like, the rotation, rotation, you know, one best way process. Ha! <laughs> you got a little of shit. Okay, I got to glue my teeth in, and then I got to go because I'm, like, really late from lunch break <laughs> love you guys i'll see you guys later don't forget to like and subscribe and share because sharing is caring okay love you bye bye now